Most of us have probably grown up playing one. Some of us approach the piano surreptitiously, sitting down on the bench, lifting up the lid, and hitting the keys. Some approach with contempt. Others approach with loving eyes. But what do you really know about your good friend, the piano? Once bought and taken home, do they come with feeding instructions? Do you have to give it a daily bath? How do you keep its coat shiny and new? We tend to concentrate on care in different ways. We tend to think about the touch of the piano, which is controlled by regulation, the tone of the piano, which is controlled by the voicing, the pitch of the piano, which is controlled by tuning, and of course the appearance of the piano, which is something sometimes the user can uh, participate in uh, at a very basic level. First and foremost, we recommend controlling the room in which the piano resides. Between 68 to 78 degrees in temperature, 40 to 60 percent relative humidity. In a very simplistic view, you can say that a 10 percent change in humidity probably has four times greater effect on the piano than a 10 degree change in temperature. Slow swings are much more easily you know, absorbed by the piano than fast swings. If you cannot control either one, then you just simply have to realize that you're going to need much more frequent service to maintain the piano at a performance level. There are devices that can be installed. We recommend proceed with caution and make sure that they're installed by someone who is very professional and knows how to install those systems. Temperature works in conjunction with humidity, but humidity is really the influence of moisture in the wood. There's a term that we use, equilibrium moisture content, or EMC as the acronym. That is the moisture in the wood cells itself. The less stable that is, the greater variations there are within the components of the piano. Not just in tuning stability, but also in consistency and control from the touch, from the action mechanisms, from rust formation on various metal components. Generally speaking, they have more effect on the soundboard, not the action parts, not the case parts, not the coatings on the piano. That depends very much on the coating that's used by the manufacturer. We use both nitrocellulose lacquer and polyester coatings. What we really recommend for either one is just cleaning with a damp cloth and then immediately drying with a soft dry cloth, something like a chamois or something that you would use on a very high quality automotive finish. If the keys become oily, if they become discolored, if they become uh, just dirty through playing, that's something your piano technician can take care of. It's very easy to use the wrong materials to clean those, and then you can get water in the keys. You can have certain materials that, were, that will interact negatively with the key top material. We always recommend for everybody to carry an insurance policy on their piano with their home insurance or with their property insurance, whatever that may be. And we recommend also uh, looking at replacement value uh, rather than just uh, street value. Because sometimes your piano may be 20 years old, and if the value is based on what you paid for the instrument, that's going to be something of a shortcoming compared to what one has to pay to replace it with today's instrument. The regulation, the voicing, uh, the replacement of hammers. Hammers are a part that wears out fairly quickly on performance instruments to replace them every once every year or two or three years, certainly not uncommon. So that's something that a normal concert technician or concert quality level technician should be able to accomplish. Maybe on an older piano, the key tops need to be replaced. A lot of technicians will send those key tops out to special services that do that. Well, we can talk about what's recommended and what the real world is. In the real world, I would say that the piano graveyard becomes the donated pianos that go to a lot of churches and institutions, regrettably, because those institutions hate to turn down a gift, yet they receive something that is basically worthless to them in a functional sense. Pianos can be restored, but even at that, a restoration is only as good as what's left undone. And in every restoration, there's some aspect of the piano that was not replaced. There's a little bit of a myth that as a piano gets older, it becomes better, but that's really not the case. Pianos continue a very slow deterioration from the time they are manufactured. 
It depends on the environment in which it resides. Steinways have a long life, uh, but it could be anywhere from 50 years in an institution to 80 years in a home. The Steinway dealers that we have chosen to partner with have undergone great scrutiny. So if one is thinking about acquiring a piano, of course we can't think of any better source to go to than the Steinway dealer.